So I think today I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about success, failure, uh, hard work, and how these things all go together. And, you know, really, really what it is that, that hard work means to me and why, why I wanna work so hard. Uh, you know, I, I've never been a half-ass kind of person. I mean, I'm, I'm a whole ass, I'm an asshole. But I've never been half ass with anything. Like any, anytime I do something, I have to go all in on it and really, really kind of like fucking attack it. Uh, I mean, especially especially since I got sober. But even even back in the day, I was, I was like that. But especially since I got sober, I'm like all in on shit if I'm into it. Um, you know, I, I, what got me started with this today is uh, you know we're we're talking. Uh, everybody at the shop is talking about you know what conventions they're going to do next year. And, uh, you know, we're kind of getting a list together, who's doing what shows, when are they, and this and this and that. You know, that way we kind of coordinate, you know, time off and we coordinate, you know, with maybe guest artists coming in during those times. Um, you know, and, and and I wanted to, you know, make sure that I put it out there, like, you know, the the way the the way conventions work here at the shop is like, you know, I'm, I'm all for it. I want people to go work conventions. I think it's it's good for them. And what's good for them is good for good for the business. And what's good for the business is good for me. So, you know, building up the reputations and the uh, client base of all the people here is important. Um, you know, but but the way I, I wanted to make sure we set it all out right is that, you know, if you're doing a convention, a convention is going to be Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that, you know, the shop is ex expecting, you know, yeah, you're not going to be here or Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And, you know, we'll throw in Thursday and Monday as kind of buffer days, you know, so you've got travel time and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and that sounds, that's reasonable, you know, it's perfectly reasonable. Everybody in the shop agrees, like they, they know it's reasonable. Uh, you know, I just like to get it all, get it all out there properly. Uh, just, just so it's clear, there's no confusion. But it, it got me thinking about, you know, what I do, how I do things, what I consider, how my work ethic has always been and, you know, what that means to me and how that helped me you know, find the success that I have, uh, you know, and then the first thing that came to mind was, you know, first thing that came to mind is that I used to, I would rarely have a, a travel buffer when I went somewhere. I would just squeeze it into the middle and then, you know, work one place straight to work the next place. No, no downtime in between. Uh, of course, I don't put those expectations on any, anybody that works here. I don't put those expectations on anybody because, you know, that's, it's kind of unreasonable. Um, you know, and I, I'm an unreasonable person. Like I work in unreasonable ways and that's fine because, you know, <laughs> it's what fucking got me where I am. And it's what's going to continue to push me further in the future is the fact that I'm willing to be unreasonable about all that shit. And, you know, that's why I think people need to ask themselves, you need to ask yourself what, what is, how does hard work, how is hard work going to get you to the success that you're looking for and whatever goal that is. Now, I think about it and I remember I used to go, uh, this is 2006 and, you know, parts of seven, I think, but definitely 2006, mostly six, a lot of six. Uh, I used to drive to Pittsburgh about once a month and go do a guest spot out there. I would get up, I would pack my stuff at the shop Thursday night, take it all home. Friday morning, I'd wake up at six, I'd hop in the car, I'd drive to Pittsburgh, I'd unload my stuff at the shop, I'd tattoo as long as I could. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'd hop back in the car Sunday, nine, 10 o'clock, get home three in the morning, you know, two, three in the morning or whatever. And then I'd get up Monday and go to work. Because to me, that's how I fucking work. Why would I want downtime? I'm fucking grinding. I got shit to do. I got goals to meet. I want to succeed. I will not be a fucking failure. I got family to provide for. I have things that I need to do. I'm trying to push myself and push my career further. So I didn't fucking take downtime. And I, and I would do that once a month in, in 2006. And I also remember in 2011, 2010, 2010, I, I did, uh, when I did Hell City Phoenix the first time, I flew out, I believe, I, I could be wrong about the time, I think it was a 4 a.m. flight on Friday, flew to Phoenix, Arizona from Philadelphia, and then I worked Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I left on a flight back to Philadelphia Sunday around like 8, 9 p.m. Got up and went to work Monday. 
I mean, that's fucking crazy. Like, you're, you're not supposed to do shit like that. It's not good for you, physically, I guess. But you know what? Like, I can't be happy other ways. I don't like that break. I don't like that downtime. I need to be working. And the reason I'm working is because I got fucking goals. I got ambitions. I have things that I want to do. And if you think, if you think that you can, you know, reach any kind of lofty goal, if you have any kind of big goals, big ambitions, and you think you can reach them without doing that type of work, without doing, you know, 50, 60, 70 hour weeks, without, without doing things like taking no downtime when you're traveling for work, if you think you can really progress and do, not do these things, it's going to be a fucking slow road. It's going to be a real slow road. And the thing is, like, I don't know. I can speak from a tattooer point. I can't speak from other other business points. But I do know that, you know, it's this is a rapidly changing business. And it is something that, um, you know, your competition pops up and gets big out of nowhere real fucking fast. And if you want to stay on top of things, you need to do shit like that. Now, I mean, I don't really travel anymore. And honestly, it's it's not traveling has hurt my, my um, it, it's hurt my, my presence, we'll say. We'll call it presence. Uh, you know, I'm not as popular as some of the other people. I, I don't have as big of a following, but I like to think that, you know, I'm not a one trick pony. So, you know, the, the I, it's not just my tattoos that I have to offer. I have a lot to offer people. So I try to, you know, give that, you know, try to make up for one thing that is a shortcoming. The fact that I don't do the convention circuits and travel and do guest spots and shit, that's a, that's a shortcoming in this business, you know, but I'm getting away from the point a little bit. The, the point is that the hard work and the, just the work in general that we're willing to put in directly correlates to our success and how fast we can reach it. It directly correlates to whether or not we're going to achieve our goals. So you have to ask yourself, are the goals that you've set, what level of work is it going to take to get to them? And I like to question, if you have a goal and it's not going to take an intense amount of work to get to, is it really a goal at all? Is it really an achievement? If you, if it doesn't take much work, I mean, I like to think that goals require work. They require hard work. If your goals don't take a lot of work, then you need to sit down and reassess because you're not setting big goals. You're not setting good enough goals. Honestly, like you're not, that's not your potential. If your goals aren't difficult to reach to and they don't, uh, to reach and they don't require a lot of work, then you're not, not performing at your potential. You're not doing as good as you could do because you got more in you than that. Set your goals big. Set them real fucking big. Set them bigger than you think you can actually do. If you set your goals big, <laughs> listen to this. If you set your goals big and you put them up there where it's like you don't think you can actually do that, you're like, oh, fuck, I don't know. That's kind of lofty. But you commit to it, you might not reach it. You might not because it might be too big. There is such thing. But you're going to fucking bust your ass to try. And you're going to find out that you have so much more in you than you thought you did. You're going to make waves. People are going to notice that shit. People notice hard work. You know, that's one thing. Yeah, so, so maybe I, I uh, have not, you know, quite have the, like I said, the presence that I, I used to or that um, some other people have. But there is one thing. That everybody, anybody that looks at me, anybody that looks at my stuff, anybody that follows me is going to, like, anybody that knows me is going to fucking vouch, like, 100% on. And that's the fact that I have a fucking monster work ethic. Because I'm fucking working all the time. I love it. I love working. It's not necessarily just tattooing because, I mean, honestly, sometimes I get burnt out on that. But if I'm not tattooing, I'm on something else. I'm always working because I'm always trying to progress my life and progress myself. And I want to see what else I can do. Like, I've done a lot and, you know, it's not enough. But not in the sense that, like, I need more, but in the sense that, like, I can do more. Not that I need it, but I can. So why wouldn't I? 
Reassess your goals. Take a look at them. If they don't require hard work, then they're not really goals. And, and if you're not doing the hard work, I mean above and beyond, I'm not talking 40 hour work week, I'm talking above and beyond what other people do. If you're not going above and beyond what other people do, you're gonna, you're gonna be middle of the road. You are not at your potential unless you're pushing yourself. So if you're not pushing yourself, you're, you're, a, you're a mediocre version of you. That's it. If I don't push myself, I'm just a mediocre version of Tim. Think about that. Put some thought into that one. If you're not pushing, you're just a mediocre version of yourself. Average you, not a phenomenal you. Do you really want to be an average version of yourself? Do you want to be an average person? Nobody wants to be average. Everybody wants to be awesome and phenomenal and all that happy horse shit. So assess. Put some thought into it. Get your shit right. Get your shit right and get to work. We got work to do. Come on, people.